All right, I'm so excited to be coming to you live from Western Australia here in Perth. Right behind me is the 100th Ritz-Carlton to open in the whole world and the first Ritz-Carlton to open in all of Australia. This property has been one of the top hotels on my whole list since it opened in 2019 and I've been waiting desperately to come visit. I flew from California to Melbourne and all the way to Perth just to stay at this one hotel. Let's go check it out. And here we are in the room at the Ritz Carlton Perth. This might be my favorite room design of the whole year. It is just as amazing as some of the top hotels in the world have ever had. And I have to say, this is the absolutely most incredible view. I don't even know where to start, but we're literally looking out here at the beautiful Swan River. This is an upgrade to the studio room which is on the highest floor. We got the 18th floor at the end of the hallway in the corner, but already you can tell this hotel is amazing. We've got the floor to ceiling windows here, but I just wanna go ahead and start with the full room tour. Um, so when we first walk in, I'll show you that first. Okay, so when you first walk in, we have a beautiful little hallway here with this beautiful wood paneling closet. Where you can store all your belongings. We have an ironing board iron in here, as well as safe. And then we've got one of the two robes, as well as uh, there were slippers included in the room. I'll go over those later. But we also have this really cool mirror here to the right. I love the wood flooring. The color is just so beautiful and it ties right in with the theme of the room. That wood paneling kind of wraps around with the different textures on the wall, making this truly one of the most amazing rooms I've ever stayed at. But first off, I want to start with this beautiful bed design. Your eye goes right to the bed because it is a headboard here, but it also has the wood paneling that goes to the ceiling with the other indentation up there with the beautiful backlit of the bed. You've got the accent lamp here, and then you've just got beautiful control panels and all the sophistication on both sides. And then on the other side of the bed, we also have this really other amazing unique light, which I just absolutely love. It's so unique. It makes this one of the most beautiful beds I've ever been in. It looks so plush, but just being in it, it's just so beautiful. And then what also makes this a very luxury hotel is that we have the ottoman right here in front of the bed. I look for that, which is absolutely a must. The other thing is we have the whole control panel right here next to the bed. And the biggest thing that also makes this one of the best luxury hotels in the world is that it does have the automatic closing blinds. So right now the blinds are closing for the whole room coming down. So it can give you complete privacy in your room, all being controlled from just a press right here by your bed. There is just something about this room that just makes it feel so luxurious. The West End we just came from was very nice, but I have to say, I would much rather be in this room, even though it's a little bit smaller, just because of all the extra little detail things. But we've got this beautiful photo here, just these um, little art pieces as well. And then we not only have the hardwood, but we also have the accent carpet by the bed, which in my opinion is the best it can be. I love having the hard floor and then the carpeting by the bed. So that checks all the boxes along with the automatic blinds, the ottoman in front of the bed, the automatic lighting, all controlled right there. We do have one TV. It is kind of off to the side. So I believe that this can tilt just a little bit, um, but it's not in a direct view of the bed. So do keep that in mind. And then uh, over here, I wanna show you, we have the whole mini bar area and then an espresso machine, which all Ritz Carlton's do have an espresso machine with all the pods. And then down below here, of course, we have uh, some items for purchase. And then uh, we do have a travel adapter. This is complimentary, but not to take home just to use while you're in the room, which is nice because a lot of times people traveling in from overseas need that. And then down below here, we have uh, the mini bar items. All these drinks are for purchase. And then you have this really cool, unique wooden cabinet next door. And in here we have so many different types of cups. We have literally six different size options of cups. We've got some champagne glasses, wine glasses. We've got normal like fancy cups that are small as well as large. And then we've got the coffee or tea, small and big cups. So 
that right there is just so unique. You can make yourself a tea, you can make yourself a coffee, and you can just sit here in this beautiful chairs that they have in the room with this little table and look out at this incredible view. I have to say, this view inspires me so much more than the Weston property. That one was absolutely amazing, but this, I don't think this can be beat. And I think it's because you're literally looking in on the whole action of Perth. We've got the whole city there. We've got literally the Swan River right here as well with these really cool purple tower buildings, which is part of this Elizabeth Key development. And this built, the Ritz Carlton here also is that same. It looks exactly like that with the purple. So the architecture that we are in is just absolutely phenomenal. But the, you have the floor to ceiling windows, which is, it actually goes all the way to the floor. So that also just makes it amazing. But again, you've just got all these really cool wood accents. Like here, they didn't have to put this extra piece of wood here, but they did. And it just adds so much more. Even the paneling down below, Look at, look at the trash can, how it just blends right in with the room design. Just every little detail of this room. I love how they have the indentation here around the ceiling. It's just so modern, so unique. I absolutely just am honored as well. They have a beautiful welcome amenity for us with the welcome note, just the little thoughts that count. They even escorted us to the room. So far at check-in was just absolutely perfect. So personalized. They knew right away who we were coming in. Just absolutely tremendous. We also have a little magazine rack here, and then this is one of the support beams. I don't mind it. I think it's actually a really unique design piece. Even though it's a supporting beam, it just, I think it's kind of cool. Now, the room is not over yet because we're heading in to one of the coolest bathrooms ever because this is one of the bathrooms where the tub also has a view. But now coming over here, there's that up close of this really cool light again, and then uh, the control panels here, and then you also have the reading lights as well which is on the side. So just so many different lights and different things to control. Just beautiful. Now coming into the bathroom, we do have a sliding door here that can close for privacy. And again, it's just pure solid wood and it's very thick as well. And I love this accent piece here, this beautiful design. It represents like something in Perth. Okay, so now here we are coming in to the bathroom. I have to say, wow, we have our own control panel here where we can control the blinds in here as well as the lights, they're dimmable. So we can have bright light or we can have them even dimmer. Now this is a really unique piece here in the bathroom. This is almost like a stool. And I think they have this here for you to sit down and look out at the view because it's so amazing. Or you can be, be getting ready, but I've never seen like a bench or a stool like that low in a bathroom before. So that's a really unique uh, piece there. But overall, I have to say the bathroom is 10 out of 10 on inspiration. I just love this backlit mirror here. I love the lighting. I love this really cool tile design that goes all the way to the ceiling. You've got the two sinks. You've got plenty of counter space. You've got every amenity you could ever want. If you forgot anything at home, like toothbrush, toothpaste, dental kit, it's all right here. You've also got plenty of storage drawers. You've got the beautiful, the hair dryer, all the extra amenities. And then right over here, we have the, the tub and the shower combo, as well as the toilet. Okay, now going into the toilet room, we have a solid door that closes, which is a great feature. That's a must for extra privacy. And then I wanna go over the robe and slippers real, real quick. So the slippers were out in the front. There were two of them. I will rate them. I will give them a mid score. They are very cushy, but they're still pretty thin here, but they're a lot better than the ones that were just at the Westin. But these are actually not brand standard. The brand standard is the Frite, uh, uh, Frite slippers as well as the robes. So the robes are brand standard because they're that Frite version. These are not, so they might just be on order. So this is just replacement in the meantime. But the slippers, I don't really approve of. This robe I do. Look at how soft that robe is. Has the Ritz-Carlton emblem. It's the brand standard. And this is actually a softer one than the normal Frite robes that I've had at other properties. This is the one I would put at every single Ritz-Carlton, St. Regis, Luxury Collection, JW Marriott, this robe. So soft, so thick, so comfortable. A plus robe. Now over here is one of the coolest parts because we have the shower here and we have the tub with the best view in the house. This reminds me a lot of the Ritz Carlton Mexico City because there you also had the shower and tub combo looking out at the incredible, incredible view. Because we're on the 18th floor, the highest floor here, it just makes it that much more special. But this in my opinion is probably the, my number one or number two bathroom in the whole world along with the Ritz Carlton Mexico City. That one also was just tremendous, but I cannot wait to shower, take a bath in here with this incredible view and even just the view inside the bathroom with all the cool lighting, this beautiful stone here, all the wood accents. 
just all the little details like these towel racks. It's just so luxurious feeling. Everything is just perfect. It feels new, it feels clean. It feels like I'm almost the first one to ever be in this room. It's that amazing. The Ritz-Carlton Perth is just such a special property. It was the Ritz-Carlton's 100th hotel in the world that opened November of 2019. So it's still a fairly new building. The whole thing was built brand new. It is located at Elizabeth Key, right on the banks of the Broad Swan River and below the Central Business District. It is just a stunning design. This whole Elizabeth Key area from daytime to nighttime, even that really cool little bell tower, the river, the water right there, it's just gorgeous. They're still also building a lot, so this area is still being developed, but the property is just beautiful. If you look close, you can see all those sandstone tiles. There are 10,000 of them lining the walls of the lobby, the outsides, even here. 10,000 of these tiles were brought in. These blocks of Kimberly stand sandstones are designed to reflect the remote and vast state of Perth. Also, that pink, really cool glass on the building represents like Western Australia's pink Argyle diamonds. So there's a lot of history here, but that's like the actual rocks, the sandstone that was like used that they then made into these beautiful tiles that line the lobby, the outside, the inside. But this lobby is just so grand, so beautiful. The lighting fixtures, even up top, they have conference areas, conference rooms, but you actually arrive through the little cool door that opens up into the lobby, but the whole thing is just covered with the stand sandstones. There's no flat walls anywhere, just every detail of the lobby from the ceiling to the wall to the floors is just gorgeous. The check-in area is just spectacular. It's a whole experience. Those right there even represent like musical notes. So there's just so much thought that's put into this. Here's kind of the amenity guide that they give you when you check in with all the hours and times for it. In the lobby in the mornings, they also set up coffee for a couple hours for guests just in an espresso machine. So you can also have that in the mornings. But this is walking to the elevator. There's a lot of different art pieces in the hotel and all of it is actually done by Australian artists. Now the rooms are spectacular. They actually have a total of 205 rooms and the standard rooms start at 50 square meters which are just huge. Now this is one of the better rooms. It's like a corner room, a studio, a little bit bigger. It's not considered a full suite. They do have rooms that are suites as well. However, I really preferred this room because of the view. It was looking right out at the kind of other cool building as well as the bell tower, which I think is just the best view that you can get because at nighttime, the whole street there lights up. That's actually the view from the bathroom. So even at night while you're showering, you're literally looking out at this view. Also when you're in the tub or when you're in the room, you're looking out at the cool bell tower there. You also can tour that as well. We did not have a chance, but it's just gorgeous night or day I didn't even want to close the blinds at night. I just wanted to like keep looking out the window. It took me so long to go to bed, just gorgeous. This service was also spectacular. They kept surprising me with all these amazing things. They actually set this up for me in my room because they know how much I love Ritz Carlton. Now this is the breakfast buffet area. This is also their uh, main restaurant. So they also serve like, I believe lunch and dinner here, but breakfast, it is an extra charge for all guests. I did pay it just because we wanted to experience it but I will say breakfast was spectacular. The service was excellent. The food was impeccable. So many different buffet options. You can also just order like an omelet or eggs Benedict or things that they can actually specially make for you. But it was just a gorgeous setting just because the, the lighting, the, the beautiful design of the furniture, the whole ambiance. And then there are also, you can sit like inside or you can even sit outside. But again, the service was just so kind. They kept checking in on us. Everyone was so friendly. The food was spectacular. Now this is the hearth. This is the other restaurant the kind of bar area. This is right in the main lobby, kind of on the other side of the front desk, but this is also just another really cool food and beverage outlet. It's mostly just a bar with a seating area, kind of like a lounge. Now here we are entering, this is like the upper deck. This is kind of up higher, kind of on the same level as the pool is. It's another bar on property. And here they serve drinks, mostly opening in the evening. And then you can actually walk out in the kind of po the pools on the other side, but just also a beautiful venue. Now this is going into the Ritz Carlton Club Lounge, 
I did not pay extra to get the club lounge because we just ate in the restaurants, but next time I stay here, I am definitely upgrading to club lounge. Look at the detail, look at the ceiling, look at the wood, look at the beautiful view. You even have an outdoor seating area. The club lounge puts out five different spreads of food every day. It is an extra charge for all guests that would like the club lounge. It just at the time felt a little expensive, but now looking back, I think it's worth it just how beautiful setting that is. Now, this is the level five heading to the fitness center and spa area. Now, this is really amazing because the spa, it also includes just access to all guests and it includes like sauna, vitality pool, which I'll show you also the lockers here so you can get ready. I think every luxury property in the world should include the basic amenities in the spa, like steam room, sauna, and like vitality pools to all guests. A lot of them charge you extra, this one does not. So if you're looking to stay here, you actually get access to all of these. And I have to say, in the whole world, this is still my favorite sauna. You have a view from the sauna. And then they also have a vitality pool. This was the men's vitality pool. Incredible, I had the place to myself. They have this really cool bubble chair. You can go in the bubble chair and you're looking out at the coolest view. And this is included with your stay. It's a whole experience. It makes this hotel worth every penny, just fantastic. So whether you're in the sauna, looking out the view, or you can just relax in this vitality pool, it has the bubble chair, it also has the high pressure water, just incredible. And then you can walk outside to the incredible finity pool, looking at the city skyline. This is just gorgeous. One of the best pools at nighttime, it's lit up so perfectly. And then you have a beautiful evening view of the whole skyline of Perth. There is no other hotel like this in the city. And in my opinion, it's still one of my favorite hotels in the world. Now here is the beautiful fitness center. I love that it also has windows with a view. A lot of fitness centers do not have a view. They're like complete just walls. This is gorgeous. And they have beautiful equipment, plenty of space, even free weights. So impressed. Now this is a little bit about what we did while we were staying here. One of the days we just walked right here by the water and you actually can catch a ferry, which takes you over to like one of the little islands, which is actually where we went to the Perth Zoo. So if you're looking for like a fun day activity, you can take this ferry over. They have a lot of different animals, even kangaroos, koalas, just, just it was just really fun. It's not the biggest zoo in the world, but it's great because you can get really close to the animals. On the ferry ride back over, it's just as beautiful and you also get an amazing view of the Ritz-Carlton from the water and the beautiful skyline, just gorgeous. Now this is the 20 meter high pedestrian and cyclist suspension bridge, which is connecting one half of the precinct to the island. It's an architectural feature of Perth and it's amazing because also you can see it from some of the rooms at the Ritz-Carlton, but this whole area is great for runners, bikers, if you just kind of want to go out for a morning walk, it's just gorgeous. The architecture here is just beautiful. And this is the bell tower. That's the view we're looking out at from the hotel. You actually can tour it. It was closed the one time we wanted to do it, so we didn't get the chance. All right, now for the review of the Ritz Carlton here in Perth. I just have to start, what a view. But first up, room five out of five. One of my favorite rooms in the whole world. It rivals the Ritz Carlton Mexico City, the floor to ceiling windows. Everywhere I look in the room, everything is clean flawless, perfect, every single attention to detail. There's no just like, you know, hardly flat walls with pictures on them. It's material that keeps changing. The room is just so beautiful. Next up is gonna be inspiration, five out of five. The architecture of this building alone, the purple building in the beautiful Perth skyline is just gorgeous. The room design is gorgeous. The lobby is breathtaking. Every detail is 10 out of 10 on inspiration on this hotel absolutely just blows my mind in every single way. Super score and inspiration. Next up is gonna be service. Service I am gonna give five out of five. Front desk team, phenomenal. They actually became very personal with us. We made friends even at breakfast. We've met the general manager. Everyone here has been very, very kind and accommodating. I will say just areas from, for improvement. The biggest area could just be on the arrival area. There were not a lot of employees we noticed there to help guests arriving. Our doors were not opened right away. It took someone a while to come find us. So I think that they could just add a bit more staff there in the front arrival area and it would just be even above perfect. Finally, value what I return and how likely am I re to recommend this property? Five out of five, giving this hotel a perfect score. I cannot wait to come back. There's just something about this hotel. I could just come back every year, every couple times a year, just because of this location, the rooms, the lobby, the atmosphere, the staff, Everything here just is phenomenal. Uh, we did stay at the Westin the other night, and while it was amazing, it just wasn't a hotel I have to come back to. 
This one is, there's just something about it. I think the location is better because you're in on the action. I think the furniture in the room is just more inspiring with the detail and the high end, everything. I just love it. Next up is going to be pricing. If you're looking to stay here, it's going to be about 350 to 450 US dollars. So for a Ritz Carlton, that's actually more on the reasonable side. For points redemption, it's going to be about 43,000 points to about uh, 60,000 on really peak times. I did use points for the one night and it was only 42,000 points and the room was about like 300 US, $400. So it's actually a great value to use your points here. I recommend if you're choosing to come to this hotel, use your Marriott Bonvoy points if you have them. It's a great value. Be sure to click subscribe. You won't want to miss my next review. We are going to the brand new Ritz Carlton in Melbourne tomorrow night. It is the second Ritz Carlton in all Australia and the highest hotel in all of Australia. It's brand new. I can't wait to show it to you. And also, if you have any comments, please put them down below and press the like button. Can't wait to see you in the next review. Let's go to Melbourne.